Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over using Doodly whiteboard videos in the courtroom. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. When it comes to persuading a jury, there are many tried and true strategies. One of the more recent trends in courtroom presentations is to use whiteboard videos. These videos can be used for any type of case, but they work particularly well in personal injury cases where you want to show the judge or jury how something happened. So we are going to start with a script for a personal injury case. Let me show it to you. Now, our fictional case, we've got the attorney and he's going to go over all of this stuff here. He's only going to use doodly for these first two scenes here. The rest he'll have some other visual aids that he'll use, you know, some photos, and then he'll just stand there and talk to them. But he wants to show the problem with the intersection using doodly. So that's what we're going to do. So our first scene, we want to have George and Carrie happily driving along. And then our second scene, we want to show the intersection. We want to show how it's dangerous, the, there's a curve just before the intersection, and there are no warning signs that a traffic light is coming up. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I know we have a scene here, it's already pre-built, of a couple driving a car. Let's go ahead and start with that. We could add some text if we'd like. Let's use this one. You know, they're just talking happily and they're in love. So, you know, maybe it's date night. Now I am not going to have all this stuff draw on. So I've selected the pre-built scene items and I'm going to click the gear icon and where it says draw three seconds, I'm going to turn this to none. And that way we don't need to watch while the hand draws all of the seats and windows and steering wheels and whatnot. We're just going to have the hand drawn George and Carrie on their way to the movies and then this little, little love talk there. And I think that will be fine for this scene. Now we're here at the main event where the attorney wants to illustrate the intersection and what happened. So I have gone ahead and I created some diagrams of the accident scene. And I would expect the attorney to do a little bit better job than I did, but I think you'll get the idea of what I'm going for here. So I'm going to click on props, the blue plus sign, and I'm going to drag and drop my three images in and click continue. Now let's go ahead and drag them into our scene here. Now what I want to do is I want to select them all together to resize them. That way they resize at the same level, I guess you would say, so that the arrows are going to fit perfectly. Okay, so what we have here is the intersection in question with the curvy road heading in. Green is going to be our couple that are driving to the movies, and red is going to be our red light running guy. This is his anticipated area of travel. So we do need to do some drawing of these paths, okay? So let's go to the first one, click the pencil icon, and we're going to pretend that the attorney is drawing these, right? So let's start here and draw this intersection. Now I've got a few points here. I want to go ahead and make this larger so that we can, one, see it, and two, just make it a little easier to do. So you just kind of want to think about how you would be drawing this if you were the person hand drawing this item. And these are really easy because they're not very precise. I don't need to be precise, so I can just whip right through here. Okay, so the first one's done. Now let's do our arrows. Again, select the item, click the pencil icon, and draw your path. These are going to be easy. So let's go ahead and preview this scene real quick so you can see what it's looking like. Now what else do we need? We need some traffic lights. 
So I'm going to go to either Pixabay or Freepik or one of those places and find some graphics to use here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Okay, I'm back. Let's go ahead and import the traffic lights that I found. Found these over on Freepik. Now he's going to want to show that our couple had the green light. So we're just going to drag this in here. And then we want this to indicate that this guy had the red light. Let's have this not draw on after all, okay? This is going to be pretty quick. And then they were heading this way. We want the green light after the arrow. No, before the arrow. Green light and then the arrow comes and this is the way they're coming. And then we want the red light to appear. And then have the guy come here and then we'll show a car crash here. Three seconds is going to be too long for this light to be drawn on. I'm going to go one second on each of these and I'm going to have them fade on rather than be drawn on. So I'm going to click this little pencil icon, reveal mode, fade, save and return. I'm going to do the same for this one. Now let's go ahead and add our little voiceover here for these two scenes. Keeping in mind that he's going to continue on with some real life photos and actual presentation in the courtroom. So we're just working on just this little tiny portion of Doodly that he's going to show on a big television monitor in the courtroom. Later I'm going to delete this, but for, for now I'm going to use this as a cheat sheet, a teleprompter so to speak, so that I know what to say while I'm recording it. So I'm going to put my playhead at the beginning. And I want to look down here at the microphone tab. See this little plus sign? That's how I'm going to add my voiceover. So I'm going to click it. It's going to give me a red button. When I'm ready, I'm going to push the red button and I'm going to get, begin speaking. George and Carrie were on their way to the movies when they got into an accident. The other driver was speeding and he didn't stop at a red light. And then he careened into George's car. While the other driver was clearly in the wrong, the intersection is very dangerous, and the county is also at fault for not taking action to prevent such accidents from happening. For example, there's a curve just before the intersection and no warning lights that a traffic light is coming up. Now, I want scene one where they're driving the car to coincide with this portion here where I said George and McCary are on their way to the movies. And then I had that slight pause, so that's where I know my break is. Let's take a look. It looks like we need to add about two seconds to this scene. Currently, the only thing I have drawing on is the words and the little heart. And I think that's probably fine. So let's just add some time at the end. And that's going to be just about right. Just a touch. And then we're going to have where we're talking about all this other stuff. I'm going to talk about the accident scene and then we're going to talk about this curve here. And so I am going to want to add some information about that. So let's go ahead and find a nice arrow. And now we need a giant X. <laughs> now we could do a little shortcut here. Let's use bangers. This is a font. And we're just going to make a giant X with it. It's going to be a nice bold X. And then we're going to change its color to red. And then we need to think about if we want to show a crashed car. So let's Okay, so we have the scene laid out. It's, the arrangement needs to be fine-tuned now. Okay, we're just about there. Let's take a quick preview and we'll be done. George and Carrie were on their way to the movies when they got into an accident. The other driver was speeding and he didn't stop at a red light and then he careened into George's car. While the other driver was clearly in the wrong, the intersection is very dangerous and the county is also at fault for not taking action to prevent such accidents from happening. For example, there's a curve just before the intersection and no warning lights that a traffic light is coming up. 
And that's an idea on how you could use Doodly in the courtroom. Thanks for watching. Bye.